Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis. Came out in 94, apparently. Of course it's Sega. Oh yeah, and uh, this uh, is a Castlevania game I've never played. So, should be interesting. The ancestors of the Belmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil in incarnate Dracula. Yeah! In 1917, a countess sought to revive the long-dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley. Ooh. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny push back the evil hordes and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. Hell yeah, man. We're gonna kick some ass here. Castlevania Bloodlines. Hell yeah, man. From Konami. That's a pretty awesome title screen. Alright. What do we got for options? I don't think there's anything we need to change. But... Okay, there's actually difficulty. I've heard this game is pretty hard, so I think I should just... Since it's my first time, I'll go with easy and... As many players as we can, thank you. There's the controls, sound test, all that stuff, and quick demo display. Okay, no thanks. I think I can handle myself. Alright, let's do it. And so there's two characters, John Morris and Eric Lacard. I don't know if how different they are, I don't know which one's better, or if they have different levels or what, but uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with uh, John Morris, though. Maybe after I beat the game, I'll show off Eric Lacard. We'll see, but I think I'm going to go with John Morris for this playthrough here. Yeah! Vampire killer, good stuff. Alrighty then. What do we got going on here? Ruins of the Castle Dracula, Romania. Ooh, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. So John Morris here is ready, kind of like in Castlevania 4. <laughs> I know that was Simon Belmont, but whatever. All right, stage one star. Let's do this thing. Let's, okay, what was that? I, I think that powered up my whip. I guess what that did. And uh, getting used to the controls here. Okay, you can do some pretty cool stuff with the whip. All right, and we got these little crystals. I think they're basically the hearts of this game. They let you use the sub weapons. We don't have one yet, but I'm sure we'll get one before too long. I'm liking the controls of this game and the look of it. Looks like we got a dead body. Oh boy. Nice. What we got here? Money. It's points, basically, as, as it usually is. Okay, now it looks like we're inside. Ooh, boomerang for sub weapon. And in this game, the boomerang actually looks like a boomerang and not a cross, so that's kind of cool. We got zombies here. It's always cool. It's a staple of the Castlevania series. Orb? What was that? Was that like invincibility, I guess? I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. But yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, suck on that. Alright. There we go. Ooh, the axe. Nice. Yeah. Whoa, it's a big axe, too. Sweet. Alright, man. Nice. Get some more crystals here. What do we got over here? Hmm. We got the I Spy thing. Better, better get rid of you. Damn it. Freaking thing. Ah! You're hitting me, you bastard. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. There's money, and this pillar looks cracked. Busted open. A spell book? I'm not sure what that does, but whatever. But, uh, yeah. So far, I'm liking this game. I'm liking it, man. We got some mermen, oh boy. Yeah, so I've heard this game is pretty hard. And it's pretty short. I think... I think there's only six levels, and I think that took out all enemies on screen. 
apparently there's six levels, but they're like actually kind of long levels. So it's kind of cool, I guess. And apparently there's a European version of this game. It's called, what, Castlevania The New Generation, I think it's called, and it's like really censored. Because apparently they thought that all the blood and gore and stuff would be too much for Europeans to take. I don't know why, but whatever. It actually has like a different title screen. They like took out the blood to make it look like water or something. I don't know. It seems really stupid to me, but whatever. And apparently the European version also has like slower frame rate or something. I don't know. But basically, don't play the European version. So that would kind of suck. Stick with this version, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Ooh, that was like a what was that? Five crystals or something? We got bats, of course. What Castlevania game would be complete without bats? Nice. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I think that was because I was all the, all the way powered up. Or something, but... Oh, we have a hellhound! And, oh, this guy looks disgusting. Half of his body is all... like Disgusting. He, he doesn't seem too hard. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, boy. Breaking glass. That's not cool. Okay. More breaking glass. Oh boy. Yes, this guy doesn't seem too hard. Just stay away from the fire and then watch out where the glass is breaking. And boomerang works very well. Okay. Settle down there, dude. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad at all. Alrighty then. Let's move on. I guess that was like the sub-boss, mini-boss, mid-boss, whatever you want to call it, but whatever. But yes, yeah, since I had a Super Nintendo, I, I pretty much grew up on Castlevania 4. You know, I never got to play this game, so... If I would have had a Sega growing up, I probably would have gr grown up on this game. More than likely. This game does seem pretty awesome so far. I gotta say, there's a pot roast. Always good. You always gotta check those pillars and whatnot. What the hell's up there? I'm kinda hanging something. Looks kinda disgusting, but it's all good. Get skeletons? What are you doing? Don't be messing with me. I'm John Morris, damn it. Yeah! Major badass. Nothing there, okay. So, so, so far, I'm pretty used to the controls. I mean, it seems like a lot of Sega games, it's hard for me to get used to the controls because of the way it's set up, you know, because there's A, B, and C, you know, because I didn't really grow up playing it like that, but I gotta say, this this isn't bad. I'm kind of liking it. It's working for me. Whoa, what the hell is this? Are they grinding up bodies there? What the hell? We, we's got holy water, and it's pretty sweet. It's a lot better than it was in Castlevania 4. At least it kind of travels along the floor. That's the kind of holy water I like. You know what I'm saying? It could be useful for here. And he throws it pretty far. That's pretty crazy. I'm liking that. Usually in Castlevania, when you throw holy water, you like barely throw it anywhere. You know, like right in front of you. But this guy, he just like chucks it. Pretty cool stuff. I'm liking it, man. Yeah. Oh boy. Whoa, we got a skeleton with a freaking mace. Jeez. The hell? Ooh, nice. T takes care of that. I guess I'll take the boomerang. I'm liking the boomerang. The holy water is pretty cool, but the boomerang, uh, I don't know. I'm liking it. So far, I actually haven't seen a dagger. Uh, that's kind of strange, but maybe there is no dagger in this game. I don't know, man. I've yet to see one, anyway. Whoa. Whoa, what, what do we got here? I don't know how you get that up there, but... Oh boy, we got a freaking guillotine. That's cool. I don't know how we're gonna get by this. But I'm liking the backgrounds in this game. They're pretty well done. Freaking skeletons, blood dripping off of them. Good stuff. Uh, that guy just committed suicide, apparently. Okay. I guess he was tired of being dead. So now he just wants to be in pieces. Well, that's fine. And what do we got up here? We got some more crystals. That's always cool. Yeah. 
another power that I don't really need, but might as well get it. You know, I'm sure John's hungry, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, what's this? Looks like some bones. A bunch of crows on- oh crap! Oh my god, what the hell? What's going on here? And I think that was a one-up. Wasn't it? I think. Yeah, and now I got five lives instead of four. I'll... We got the freaking skull skeleton dragon guy. And pff, short work of him before he could even cause any trouble. Which is a good thing. Yes. Oh boy. It looks like we're coming up to something big. Something big. Yeah. Boomerang. Oh, is it boss time? What is it? The hell is this thing? It looks like some kind of uh, freaking robotic knight or something. I don't know, man. It's crazy. But he, he didn't seem too bad at all. Ow. Crap. I screwed that up. He kind of got me in the corner, but it's not too bad. Just kind of duck his little spear thing, and now he's doing some weird-looking kick. But he's not too bad. I mean, he is the first boss, after all, so... Not, they're not going to make the first level that hard. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. Stage 1 cleared. Nice. Alright, so we haven't failed miserably. Yeah, that's good. I'm liking the music of this game, though. It's pretty cool. There's a password screen, so I think we're going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Next time on Castlevania Bloodlines, we will uh, go to the next stage. Yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys later.